guys welcome back to my channel um sorry that like the background looks a little bit different and a little bit crazy it's only because i i'm trying to find like the right angles in this room to film for you guys i want to bring you guys the best content that i can bring i like the background in my closet that i had but i don't know i wasn't feeling it for a while and i don't want to get backdrops i mean if i have to get backdrops i definitely will but I kind of just was feeling this background for a little bit and I might add maybe like some pillows and some other stuff to it. But for right now, I mean, I'm just filming a favorite video so you don't need a really pretty special background. But sorry that it looks a little bit crazy. I just want to play around with the angles in my room and find like the best angles to start shooting videos. I just ordered some soft boxes so that way I can start filming at night. I've only been filming during the day when it's really pretty outside so that's why I haven't been posting a lot of videos as I should. Um, but my soft boxes should be coming in tomorrow and I'll start filming at night and any time of the day so yeah. Um, enough rambling, let's get into the favorites. The first favorite that I want to mention is a non-makeup favorite and I've been using this for the past like month and a half. Um, I actually just went through one whole bottle and now I'm on to my next one. And it is the Dove Dry Spray. Um, I have the scent Beauty Finish, which is this one. And the new one that I'm trying right now doesn't say the scent. That's like lemon something. It's the lemon one. Um, I've been obsessed with these. Um, I'm, I mean, everyone uses deodorant, hopefully, <laughs> and I mean, I like the dry spray formula of it. I feel like they last longer. I go through deodorant at least maybe every like two to three weeks, um, but this lasted me a month and a half. Like I've had this for a month and a half and I just started this one. Um, so the funny thing is I found this, you can find them in like Dwayne Reed, CVS, pharmacies like that. So I found it for $7.99, that's the cost of it originally, but the 99 cent store by my house has it for $2.99, so we're winning by going to the 99 cent store. Um, however, the price usually is anywhere from $6.99 to $7.99 on it, um, and pretty much it says you're supposed to feel instantly dry with one-fourth moisture to care for your underarm skin. So it's just supposed to, pretty much does the same thing as regular deodorant does, it's just in an aerosol can, which I find that it lasts longer and the scent is a little bit stronger than the deodorant stick so I've been obsessed with this like I said this is my, my second bottle so I'm obsessed with these and I will most likely continue to be purchasing the aerosol can dub deodorant sprays so yeah my second favorite um for the month is this I guess like a moisturizing cream you can say I went to the generation beauty event and we got these huge like bags of like all these products and this came in it this is I believe it's by the brand called belief and it is the true cream aqua bomb it's increased hydration level and it is dermatologically tested so it looks kind of like this um it just tells you pretty much that it's supposed to deliver instant moisture with ladies mantle i don't have no idea what that means um it's a hydrating herb oh okay and it is refreshing gel that provides weightless yet long lasting hydration um so it just tells you to apply evenly to the face and neck after a serum i use this pretty much every night before i go to bed and when i wake up in the morning my skin looks luminous it looks very glowy it's very hydrated i also use a little of it before i put on like a primer and I'll show you guys how it looks. So it's just kind of like a blue kind of gel. And it smells very clean. Like if you ever went to get a facial, it smells like a facial. And I don't know, I, I've been obsessed with it. And I like the top because it looks like a little hat. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... <laughs> um, and I love it. I mean, it's super hydrating, especially if you have dry skin. This would definitely be a lifesaver. I have combination skin. I have an oily T-zone. Everything else is dry. Um, and I use this before I go to bed. I'll mix it with like a serum. I've been using the Tarte Maracuja oil lately as well. 
and you mix it together and you wake up and your skin is so soft so dewy so like a luminous it's a great 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 moisturizer i highly recommend it if you do have dry skin and it is by the brand belief also all the products that i'm mentioning in this video will be linked down in the description box so if you don't catch it now just check out the description box and i'll have everything listed um but yeah i've been obsessed with it this month i've been using it pretty much every night and my skin has never been as glowy as it has right now so my last non-makeup item I want to mention, I also got this in my Generation Beauty Ipsy bag. And this is the Eva NYC Speed It Up Blow Dry Spray. Literally, 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 <laughs> I've been so obsessed with this. Like, I'm halfway done. Um, I use this every time I do my hair. Every time. Not even just for blowing it out, for flat ironing it. I use this every time. It's literally just a spray that's supposed to speed up your blow drying time um, and it also says it nourishes with argan oil and sunflower seed butter and it's good for all hair types. It smells like a vacation, like it smells very islandy, very like tropical, I love the scent. Um, I have really thick like really really thick curly hair um, so when I blow it out it takes me forever in a day to blow out my hair like it'll take me maybe like a half an hour to blow out my hair myself um but when i use this i literally i'll wash my hair and then condition it and then when i'm ready to blow dry it while it's still damp i'll spray this in and then section it off and blow it out and it blows it out in half the time um i highly recommend this if you blow out your hair and it takes you forever in a day to do it and you're just like your arm is hurting and you're just tired of blowing it out um this definitely speeds up the processing time it's not a gimmick it might sound like a gimmick but it definitely helps it speed up that blow drying process it smells amazing and it also protects your hair from heat so you get three in one which is amazing it's by eva nyc and yeah i've been using this every day and i swear by it i will go out and most likely purchase this so obsessed with this if I can find maybe another brand that has like a blow drying spray I might compare the two but for right now this is the first time I've ever used a blow dry spray and I'm like obsessed with it so I, I highly recommend this as well it's amazing and it smells so good like so so good now the part of it you guys are dying for is the makeup part so I'm gonna start off with my favorite foundation okay I've been using this non-stop every time I do my makeup since I got it. Um, I got this at Generation Beauty and it is the new Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Guys, when I mean that this is my favorite foundation, like this is my favorite foundation. I don't think I will ever, well that's a lie because I haven't tried any other foundation, but like top foundation for me of the year is this foundation right here. I have it on right now. I'm obsessed with it. The color I'm in, if you guys are wondering, is Y445. Um, I got color matched at the event, and this is the color. It's perfect. It matches my complexion perfectly. When I mean perfect, no other foundation I own in my collection matches me as perfect as this foundation here. Um, this foundation is super lightweight. I feel like it's anywhere from a medium to full coverage. You can definitely build it up. And it's just so lightweight. It feels like a second skin, like it's not cakey at all. Um, and I love it. It definitely gives you like a HD effect, like especially on camera. It's great for on camera or for photos. And I love it. When I first wanted to try Makeup Forever foundations before the Ultra HD, this is the regular HD foundation. It was hard to find a shade for me. And I can never find the exact shade. I didn't want to purchase two of them to kind of mix together. So I held off, even though I really, really, really wanted to try it. But at the event, there was like a super long line, but you were getting one of these full-size ones for free. So, I mean, I wanted to try it out then, and they color matched me perfectly, and this foundation I have not put down at all. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Like I said, I have combination skin, and I can wear this all day. My oils don't break through. It doesn't slide off. It's super, super, like, just long-lasting, which I love great for photos like I said and this is my favorite foundation I mean hands down this is a foundation that when I run out I will have to 
run to Sephora to pick this up because it's just that good. I love Makeup Forever products, period. Like all their products are highly amazing, highly pigmented, just the best of the best to me. Makeup Forever is awesome. But this foundation, for me trying it for the first time, I haven't put it down. Every single tutorial, every single picture that I take, I use this foundation. I have not used any other foundation besides this. And I mean, it's supposed to be invisible coverage, so it definitely does the trick. I feel like it gives me the look of, like, you know that I have foundation on my face, but you don't know, so you don't want to ask. <laughs> but it's, it's that good. Like, it's like a second skin. Um, and I'm obsessed with it. I mean, if you've been thinking about trying this out, I like, hands down, go get it. Stop what you're doing right now and go outside and purchase this, order this, do whatever you need to do, but get your hands on this foundation. Because when I mean it will change your life, it has changed my view on foundations and like, I'm obsessed with it. So, also in combination with it, I've read and I've also, when I went there, the makeup artist told me to use it with a beauty blender. That's the best way to get the, like, the full effect of this foundation but i've been lazy and i haven't been using beauty blenders lately i've actually also been using which is also my favorite the it cosmetics heavenly Lux complexion perfection number no. seven brush and i've been using it i use it today as well in combination with this foundation and i mean to me it does the same thing i mean a beauty blender is supposed to make it a little bit more airbrush but this brush itself it's like an airbrush like this brush is amazing. I love this brush. I use it with this foundation. This is the combination that I use to put on my foundation. So this end, you kind of just buff it in. And I don't use, I feel like I don't use as much product with this brush as I would with a beauty blender. I feel like I use a lot less. And then I love how it's dual ended. So this side is so small and so tapered that when you put your concealer on, it kind of just reaches up into the crease right there, like under your eye, and it gets all the way in there. You can blend out your concealer, which is amazing. I love this brush. Um, for concealing and foundation, it has been my go-to, and this is a combination that I've been using and I haven't stopped, so that's good. Um, maybe I should start off with this one, but... This is the Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I've also been obsessed with it this month. Um, well, October. And it's their base illuminating primer. So it's supposed to illuminate your skin inside and out. I love this. You can wear it by itself. You can wear it mixed in with your foundation. And you can wear it before you put your foundation on. It's this really... I'll show you. It's like a light pink. kind of feel and then kind of blend it out and it's like super illuminating like I, I love it it's a very creamy texture it's not sticky it dries pretty fast and with wearing it with foundation like I've been using this combination as well um, it just illuminates from within so it gives you a very dewy hydrated look um, without it being too cakey or some illuminating primers are like really shimmery and you can tell that there's illumination in it this one just gives you like that glow if your skin doesn't have it um i recommend it for dry skin it says that it's also good for dull skin and it's for skin to appear brighter and radiant um I mean, you can wear it by itself with foundation, mix in your foundation. I find that when I do my foundation routine, I try it always and I like putting it on first, letting it kind of sit into my skin and then applying my foundation over top. I feel like that's the best way I get the full use out of the product. Um, but I just love how it gives you like the glow from within without looking like shimmery or sparkly I feel like a lot of radiant primers do do that and I find with this one by cover effects It doesn't and I just love it. I know they also have a few other primers Everyone's been talking about the mattifying one, which I think I'm gonna try next um, Just for my t-zone area so that way I can kind of be matte in this area and I heard that it does wonders So I mean I'm obsessed with this one so I know that that one will be amazing as well I want to talk brow products. I have been loyal to Anastasia for years. She has been the only brow products that have touched my brows in years. But I've been trying to branch out a little bit and start using like 
maybe pencils and things like that. So I want to talk about the first brow product, which is the Trey Steak Define Sculpt and Set Brow Crayon. And this is in the color Americano. I love this pencil. Like, look how cute it is, guys. Like, it's so cute. And this end comes off, and it's the stick right there. So you can twist it, and that's the product there. And I feel like it's a waxy material, which is nice. It's not like a pencil where you kind of have to keep on drawing on. It kind of glides on, which is nice. But then the cool part about it is the other end, you twist it off. And it's like a gel. So it's like a little brow gel brush, which I love. I feel like this is super travel friendly. All their products are kind of made with dual ended, so you have one applicating side and one side where the product is on and I feel like they're super convenient for traveling and storing and you just kind of have two in one you don't have to bring like a pomade a brow pencil and like a brow gel you kind of have it all in one which is amazing the pigmentation on this is phenomenal it's so creamy and because it's like a waxy pomade kind of um I guess formula what it does is it doesn't move it doesn't budge it doesn't like melt you can wear it in the rain and your eyebrows still stay on tack so i highly recommend them um definitely check out their website i'm gonna link it down below they have a lot of amazing products on there especially for people that are on the go i kind of want like a two-in-one product these are definitely great products for you so i'll link it down below but also for my brows what i've been loving are the benefit give me brows I have them in light medium and I also have them in medium deep so that's how it looks they're so cute there's so many and what I love about them like, is the fact that the application brush is so tiny so it gets in all those hairs like all the little mini hairs that you need to get it gets them um, I use the medium deep for just like an everyday brow, but if my brows are way too harsh for the day, then I'll go in with the light medium. And I like that they're tinted, but they're not super tinted where like it's a whole bunch of like harsh color and you kind of put it on and then you kind of rub off your brow product in a way, but it's enough color pigment in it where it doesn't do that and i love how it just keeps your brows in place like your brows do not move they stay in place um i use this with everything i even use it with the trace deep brow even though i do like the gel on this i feel like the brow portion is kind of big like their little like spoolie part with their gel is kind of big but i love using these because these here are so small they get every single hair and they lay down everything you need to lay down and they're amazing so give them a try if you guys have been looking for brow products um or brow gels the gimme brows by benefit are amazing i like they're phenomenal they're the spoolie is just what gets me because it's so small and it gets in those places you need to get them in and it's just amazing okay. my favorite i feel like i have a lot of it cosmetics maybe it's only two okay it's only two but i've been loving it cosmetics this month and this mascara, hands down, is like my favorite high-end mascara as of right now. It is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes. This mascara right here, I have it on today. It doesn't clump your lashes. It kind of just like defines each lash and it just gives it enough oomph that you could wear it alone and you kind of don't need lashes if you have a lot of lash. Um, I love the, the applicator part of it as well. So I'll show you guys. Pretty much, this is how the applicator part looks. And I love how the tip has like this little ball. So you know like the lashes that are all the way in the corner of your eye? Using this tip kind of gets those lashes that you've never even seen come out, come out. Like, And I love the fact that it kind of separates them and adds color to each lash. It's not clumpy. It's not a clumpy material. Um, I find that it's not waterproof, which kind of sucks. Um, but I mean for an overall mascara that's gonna do the trick and it's definitely great for your bottom lashes I don't you know it's not waterproof I don't see it transferring on my like cheek or under my eye which is really good but I just love that it has like a little ball at the tip so you can get right into those lashes in your inner corner that you haven't touched ever with mascara and it brings them out it just 
nicely defined your lashes and it doesn't clump them up which is amazing so yeah I've been loving this okay two cheek products that I've been obsessed with this month the first one is cargo and it is their water resistant blush in the color Los Cabos I have it on today um, and a mixture with another blush I'm gonna mention but this blush is like my favorite blush of the month I think it's my favorite blush I own um, and it's this beautiful like orange melon gold like blush which is so pretty I love it by itself it kind of goes as like a highlight blush I'll swatch it for you guys So, it kind of is like dual color in a way, I guess you can say. It's so pretty. It's like pinky, peachy, orangey, sheen. And you can wear it by itself, no highlight. You can wear it with a highlight, however you want to wear it. Um, I love them because it's water resistant. So, if you want to kind of add color to your cheeks and go in the pool or stand out in the rain, by all means, this will not budge. It will not move. But I also like it because of the glitters kind of in it. It's not chunks of glitters, but the sheen, I should say. I love it because you can just wear it alone and it looks like you have a highlight on, which is amazing. It doesn't budge. It's super pigmented and I mean, I believe the water resistant comes in two other colors. So definitely go check them out. I've been loving this blush this month. Um, I'm into very like orangey, peachy blushes. Like Luminoso is also one of my favorites, but this one hands down. I'm obsessed with because it's kind of like a dual chrome like I said and it has like that sheen to it so it makes it look like a highlight without wearing a highlight which is also a plus if you don't want to put that much product on your face and last but not least my favorite of the month I've had this for a little while I got it when it first came out um, but I've been obsessed with it lately especially for like the fall and winter months like coming up um, opening the wrong side <laughs> it is the becca shimmering skin perfector and blushed copper so I'll show you right here it's so pretty i haven't really like dented in like the little like design that it came with but i mean i just like tap my brush in it and it's so pigmented it's so creamy i'll swatch it for you guys too Here, it's right here. So this one here is the cargo blush up top, and this one here is the blush copper by Becca. And it's so, it's like a penny. Like it reminds me of like a copper penny. It's so pretty. It's good as like a blush topper. So whatever blush that you're wearing, you just kind of put it on top and it intensifies that blush. I don't recommend it with every brush, blush obviously because if you're wearing like a, a really light pink blush you don't want to put this copper color on but for more like orangey and deeper tones it's beautiful you can also wear it as a highlight i would recommend it more for a highlight for like deeper skin tones but for me i just kind of like apply it on like the apples of my cheek to give me more of like a orangey kind of glow to like my blush and i love it it's so creamy it's so pigmented you don't need a lot and it's just great for like the fall time i feel like it brings out like fall hues and leaves and it's just a great like addition to it this is really pretty like penny kind of color hence why the kind of packaging it's like a penny coppery kind of color but it's amazing it's perfect for this time of season at least in my opinion it's perfect for this time of season so yeah well those were all my favorites for october i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys like the products that I mentioned, I want to try out the products that I mentioned. I'm definitely going to link everything down in the description box below so that you guys can check them out. Um, and let me know what you guys like this um, October. What were your favorites this October? Leave me those comments as well in the comments down below. And yeah, my next video should be coming up shortly. I'm getting lighting, like I said. I'm trying to figure out what kind of background I want to keep with. And I'm going to have more like in-depth makeup tutorials because I know you guys have been asking for more in-depth makeup tutorials um hopefully with the lights the pigmentation and the colors will pay off more and you guys get to see a lot of things a lot clearer so yeah I'm just trying to get all of my like setup complete so that way I can bring you guys the best videos and the best like 
content that I can bring to my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, bye guys.